So, Gareth, what do we make of... I don't even know if it is an actual situation or not, but there's definitely some animosity between Carl Froch and Anthony Joshua uh, recently over the last couple of weeks. Well, I think it's pandemic lockdown boredom. Um, uh, it's like the, the, the formula is pande- pandemic lockdown boredom underneath... Uh, above ego equals little row between boxers with too much time on their hands, yeah? So, look, um, sending messages and deleting messages from each other um, overnight is the kind of thing you do when you're sending dick pics to someone, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I suppose it is, I suppose, yeah. You know, I mean, no, no, because the thing is, who knows? We don't know what's in them. But Anthony Joshua could be saying, don't say that about me. Remember how big mine is compared to yours, Frotchy. <laughs> Do, does Frotch, um, <laughs> obviously Frotch made some comments about him not being uh, listed in uh, a top 10 from a newspaper uh, of British fighters over the last 30 years, like a pound for pound list. I mean, Gareth, if you did a, a top 10 pound for pound list, of our best fighters over the last 30 years. Surely you would put Carl Froch in there. Oh, look, Froch is definitely in there. He's in, he's, he's you know, you've got to have Lennox Lewis, Ken Bu- uh, when was Ken Buchanan? No, he was slightly before that. So you've got to have Nazim Hamid, Lennox Lewis, Joe Calzaghi, um, oh, Carl Froch, one, two, um, who else is in there? Fury. Oh, yeah, Tyson Fury. Um, Joshua? Who? Joshua? Yeah, Joshua's in there. Yeah, he's David, really achieved. David Ray? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, Definitely around that. Um, Amir Khan? Yes. Ricky Hatton? Yeah, no, I've said him. He's definitely in it. Um, Nigel Ben? Well, it's not 30 years, is it? Oh, it is, actually. Of course it is. I was thinking. Uh, yeah, Nigel Ben, Chris Eubank. Um... Because Chris Eubank, arguably, is one of the big stars. And Frank Bruno, maybe, you know? So Duke there's your Duke group. McKenzie? Huh? Duke McKenzie? Yeah, actually, very unrecognised. Three-weight world champion, yeah, definitely. Um, again, guy that should be in the Hall of Fame. So there's your group. Mm-hmm. Um, look, they, they both belong in, in a British top 10, top 12. Um, but um, greatest of all time, you know, I mean... It's very difficult with Joshua because it, it came so quickly and he's carried so much. He's, he, he's, you've got to give him massive plaudits. The trouble is he's made it look quite easy and he's been very brilliant matched um, by, by Eddie Hearn so far. So it's an interesting debate anyway. Very, very interesting debate. 